Hello and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. I am Lord Forwin, and the war is heavily going in favor of the Allies. Allies now. Well, the Germans still control Europe and are still fighting the Soviets. Everywhere else, they're being pushed out. Most importantly, Venezuela has fallen, which has given me back oil, which is amazing because now I can actually rebuild not only rebuild my oil, but I can also export my oil to whoever needs it, which I'm not actually getting any, surprisingly. Um, you'd think they'd want some of it. Um, greater Hungary is a thing. Oh, it looks like the U.S. has plenty of oil now that they've taken over Venezuela, so that might be why none of my oil is being exported to people, which is a shame. But we now have 10 divisions of troops, and we are going to move to Africa, where hopefully we will be able to push back Italy a bit more, since they are getting tied up by fighting the Soviets. Plus, they must be running low on manpower. Eh, reasonably low. The Germans are in a much bigger manpower crisis than everyone else, though. And of course, our wonderful attache, attache in the Soviets are giving them hopefully some not only planning speed, but uh, organization regain. Meanwhile, Japan is just going to take forever to get kicked out of China, but they are losing. Not only are they losing, they've also lost control of the waters around Japan, which is kind of a death sentence if you're a naval power. Okay. My troops are going to take forever to sail there, but at least all my land in the New World is safe. Okay. Continually keep upping our oil production. Blow the Panama Canal? Apparently you can blow up the Panama Canal. Surprised you couldn't blow up the Suez Canal. Or maybe the British did do that. Nope, Suez still functions. Okay, hopefully... The U.S. and everybody are going to move their troops. Nope, the U.S. is going to guard against Brazil and Colombia, apparently. Hopefully they'll continue moving their troops to Europe, because we desperately need them. For some reason, we still apparently can get this event. Which is just rather strange. Because we've lost control of all our colonial European states. I'm hoping that when the Allies land in Europe, they'll land in the Netherlands pretty early on. Which gives me a shot at maybe regaining um, my land before Belgium and Luxembourg do. Chance to unite the Netherlands again. The sheer amount of troops that the Soviets and Germans are throwing at each other is disgusting. They're losing more manpower in like two minutes than I'm losing. I've lost this entire war. To be fair, Venezuela did a lot of damage to me. Okay. We have not made it yet to Africa. There may not even be a port by the time we get there. There isn't a port. Great. What are you going to do now? Oh, they're just going to sail to the nearest island. Okay. I mean, I guess that's smart of the AI. 
If you can't get one place, just go elsewhere. Ah, we can also upgrade uh, our production in the East Indies, uh, West Indies. Must be weird having both the East and West Indies under one's control. Also rather annoyed my troops are not rebuilding. Okay. Let's try sailing to there. If we don't get there, we're at least moving around the world. If we can't help here, we'll end up and go help fight the uh, Japanese or something. Two hundred thousand till the Germans are pretty much out of manpower. How bad is the casualties? Twelve point five on our side, eleven on their side. Four billion Germans gone. Three point three million Soviets, four hundred thousand Americans. The Chinese casualties are huge too. Although Japan has lost more troops than China has. I'm surprised China is not overwhelming Japan. I would assume they would. And they are steadily losing, but... AI is a bit slow on the advance sometimes. Okay. We've almost made it to South Africa. Speaking of stuff like that, we should probably do some naval research because we have the time and we also have the naval tradition. Not that we're ever going to need a navy. But. I wish my transport ships would sail a little bit faster. It's very slow crossing the Atlantic with these guys. So many different regions you can move into. repaired the Suez Canal, so apparently you can rebuild it too, so it must be damaged. The issue for me is really rebuilding manpower. Because while we are draining the German manpower to us, still not enough. The sheer amount of troops the AI just leaves scattered around the world to defending their lands is kind of sad. It's much better uses for some of it. Oh, great. Let's try this again. Every province we keep sailing to in Africa gets occupied by the time we're getting there. They don't really know where to watch, China or Europe? I think, honestly, China is proving to be more interesting than Europe right now.
Boom. I don't know if we're ever going to be able to break into Germany until it um, falls to the Soviets or vice versa. They've just got too many defensive troops. Italy still has manpower. That might be one of the more fascinating things about this war is how much fighting Italy's done and lost of casualties but how they still actually have manpower there we go another German defection Free France is really beating up uh, the uh, Italians. Cyprus is still untakeable. Arch funny. Legionary Romania. Interesting. The Soviets are really starting to get driven back here. Wonder why. Hmm. Japan is just slowly getting annihilated by China. Although, I think the British must have some troops in that area, too. <laughs> My first couple divisions are almost there. I think I might just halt training the Marines instead try and deploy that number to the field For Vichy France is making quite a bit of a comeback here in uh, Africa what is this Oh, for some reason that looked like a Norwegian unit. I was a little confused. I guess if you can only see the edge of the German flag, it kind of looks like the Norwegian flag. Yeah, kind of looks similar. Not exactly the same, but similar. I have a cat who's decided that my hand is the perfect place to rest its paws. So, there we go. Happy cat. Very happy cat. I'm not moving, so. Another German division. Problem is, none of my troops are either organized or supplied. Not to mention my port I'm trying to land in is going to fall before I get there. Maybe.
Nope, looks like I arrived at pretty much the perfect time. Okay. Let's say the offensive point should be right up there and attack. I doubt we'll get anywhere, but you never know. Our troops have to deploy to that whole region anyway. Plus, we don't even have artillery production going. There we go. A little bit of artillery production. We could do Radio Orange, but it doesn't seem to actually help us that much, other than boost our partisans, which I don't think is a huge issue right now. Well, at least we'll be an effective force in holding Africa. Although, not a very effective point from which to fight as the Dutch. We have no interest in the area other than helping the Allies. One of the ch Japanese people has capitulated. Menchunko. Menchunko is next. That should have given these guys a fair amount more, uh, yeah, factories. It's just a matter of time now, really. Again, we need more decryption to actually figure out what's going on out here. Liberia has joined the Allies. I doubt that's going to make a difference, but awesome anyhow. One division, four factories, 18,000 manpower. Not going to make a big difference. Also, them to want to help, though. You have to be impressed by that. Okay. Italy must be out of manpower by now. Nope, they've shifted to service by requirement. Okay, fair enough. Germans all don't serve. That's they needed to do that. They were being pushed back by the Soviets. Soviets still all set manpower wise. We've also finally finished our first doctrine tree. The thing is, we're supposed to do trade interdiction, so I guess time to research naval doctrine.
Well, at least I can afford to improve my Western possessions. It's about all I can do, so... I'm starting to get really worried about the Soviets here. They're both pushing through the Germans, but also losing ground as well. Casualty rate among those two is getting ridiculously high. Four million, three million. Legionary Romania is doing a lot of damage. Oh, is this the first liberation of Norway? I think it is. Norway is now being liberated. The British have dropped like 20 divisions up there. Wow. We offended El Salvador, apparently. Vichy France is making one heck of a breakout here. At least we stop the collapse of this area to some degree. Although I wish our allies would advance. <sighs> it's just going to take time, isn't it? Also, the fact that none of my generals are going to be at all experienced by the end of this war. There we go. Norway is actually a very good target for a naval invasion. Easy to navally invade, hard to defend, and far away from Germany, relatively. Amount of troops surrounding, surrounding Siam. I wish they would just join the war and die already, rather than just taunting everybody by being on one side but not in the war. Feels really strange. Solid front going there in Europe. So for 100, I can get a region-wide industrial integration, or for the loss of some stability in 50, I can lose war support and stability and get stuff. Interesting. Oh, did they lose control of Java again? Yep, they lost control of Java again. Great. Whatever happened to my navy? Did it die? I think it kind of died. Oh, it's still technically operating in the straits here. It's just not effectively stopping their convoys. Should probably switch to the war economy. Unless there's a guy here. Uh, concealment is not that useful. Hmm. None of these are particularly what I want. This will reform towards a war economy. Plus up our oil production. Still, nobody wants our oil, even though we've got a massive amount.
<laughs> Philippines have been inflicting quite a lot of damage on Japan, apparently. But unless somebody helps, my East Indies are going to fall. I don't know how Japan got that many troops down there, but they got a lot of troops in East Indies. Also, Beijing may be reoccupied soon. So slow. Anyhow, I think we'll stop that here, and hopefully next time there'll be more progress. So thank you guys all for watching. Bye for now.